fighting, saying forever I'm not down with the dude He taking me for a fool I talk to the king of kings He been showing me things I'm tapping into the truth Come on. I'm fighting, saying forever He's shifty and super clever And told me I'm at the center But I talk to the king of kings He been pulling the strings The music is for whoever Morning, um, welcome to the cafe. Today I thought I would do um, a vlog of what I do in the cafe. And what I've been doing in the cafe for the last week. It's, it's a super huge coincidence that, that there's no one here. Usually I'm not alone I'm with my siblings or my brother who runs the cafe. But suddenly we're here, alone. So I can do a little intro out loud. Um, today, I have a few things to do for work because it is a Monday and I'm supposed to be working. But um, my friend Denise is also coming over. We're gonna do like a little unboxing thing of something I paid way too much for. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be like me sharing how I've been spending my days these last couple of weeks. It's been interesting. Um, being part of a family that owns a cafe because I don't necessarily I don't necessarily run it I'm just here to be the cute one <laughs> but yeah um, I'll take you along with me and I, I think I can do some writing today so this is gonna be another writing diaries video but we shall see so I'm just waiting for my food and I'm gonna set up for work so see you then I'm fighting, saying forever, he's shifty and super clever And told me I'm at the center mm -hmm. But I talked to the king of kings, he been pulling the strings The music is for whoever This year, I'm turning every season, Kofi season This year, I'm only dropping music I believe in So this is the Quezon Pukki Girl Cheese I ordered doubles <laughs> Guava jam And um, Spanish latte To get you out of bed, but there it's like the air free up, the clouds calm, the hair braided, the pores clear up, the herbs grown, the sun shining, the skin glowing, and the kids strong, the folks running, the smell freedom, the pheromones. Yeah. Spit water, this ain't the shiny fire on top the earth till I light up the air around me. So I never updated you after that morning update. Um, mostly because I started working and then the next thing I knew like there were so many people at the cafe which is a good problem and then Denise my friend she's high from my journal here on YouTube she's she's so fun um, she came over and we did we did this super fangirly unboxing of the Travelers Records set that I bought for way too much money but yeah it was so fun like chatting with her and showing her the cafe and like talking about you know our new obsession with traveler's notebooks and stationery and like life things which is always nice <laughs> my sister said what and i'm like yeah it's like we've never talked in real life ever but no it, it was fun it was so much fun i was so curious about the passport size of traveler's notebook because i super have fallen in love with the regular so this is my everyday carry um maybe i will do a video on it maybe i'll include it in this vlog who knows but anyway um I'm, let me just show you the pens as well so these are the pens i'm currently carrying around this is a uniball this is a gray uniball signal uh, Uniball Signo DX.38, which is my favorite uh, gel pen. I guess this is a gel pen. And it's gray. One of the inserts that I'm using here isn't really fountain pen friendly. Um, and I've been writing on it a lot. So I decided to get a ballpoint gel, a gel pen. And then this is a Twisby Echo. Filled, I think this is with Dearest Navy from Ferris Wheel Press. I use it to sign documents. I sign a lot of documents for work, so I end up using this quite often. This is the Jinhao 80, my favorite fountain pen. It's so light, so smooth, and so easy to use, this one. Um, this one in particular right now is filled with Bruce County Post, 
also by Ferris Wheel Press. I love the Jinhao 80. I would highly, highly recommend it to anyone who wants to try um, using fountain pens every day, like as a workhorse everyday pen. I love it so much. It's my favorite. So I, so yeah, these are the ones I bring every day currently, and they're just in this pouch I got free from Turkish Airlines. Anyway, so it's a thing that I've been super obsessed with and I've enjoyed like every day. Every day, literally, I happily bring out my notebook and I open it and then I check what's inside. And it brings me some sort of like inexplicable joy. <laughs> I don't know what else is gonna happen this week. This is, this is a super half-assed vlog. <laughs> I don't know why I started it, but you know, we're here. Um, yeah, I wanted to talk about making a scene. So I sort of hit a break breakthrough these last couple of weeks about the story. I know what I want to do with it. It's just a matter of doing it. <laughs> My deadline is end of February and I am maybe halfway through. I was so confident, remember? I was so confident at the end of December. Like, parang, yeah, I got it. Can I get it on? But yeah, I did not expect to lose half of January to to like travel and opening the cafe. And I did feel, I did have kind of a hard time picking this book back up. Um, even though like the inspiration is always so close at hand. Kim Namjoon, he's literally right here. Anyway, <laughs> things are progressing slowly but surely. I'm sort of confident that I can finish this. Um, I have been writing this story since 2015, 2017. Um, there are several versions of this with completely different characters and completely different problems and different situations, but uh, I think this could be the one I finish and share with the world. So it's terrifying, but also exciting. Um, yeah, that's it. If there is anything else happening this week, you will probably see it on this vlog. So, bahala na when I see you next. And just in case this is the end, um, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye!